So in the video on depth first search, we found that it could produce plans which are very long in terms of the number of actions. Um, and that's not desirable. In general, we want short plans because short plans are more efficient. However, depth first search does have some nice properties. Um, it doesn't take up too much space um, with the agenda because the agenda is a stack and it stays fairly short. And also, it can find the goal quite quickly. So therefore, what we've got here is a version of depth first search called iterative deepening. And what it's going to do is it's going to run depth first search, but with a depth bound. And what that means is that if we reach the depth bound, we treat that as a dead end. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with a depth bound of zero, say. We're then going to increase it by one every time until we find a depth bound at which depth first search returns a goal state. And then we know when it does return a goal state that um, it's going to be the shortest uh, plan. Let's see how this works. So we start, let's start with a depth bound of zero. So basically this means we'll run depth first search, but we're not allowed to elongate the tree at all. We just have to leave it like that. So we ask, is that the goal state? No, we're done, okay. So we now increase the depth limit by one, and we run depth first search again. So we ask, is that the goal state? No, it's not, so I expand it, and I can go to states A, B, and D. All of these states are at the depth limit, so therefore all I can actually do is to say, are you the goal state? No, you're not. Are you the goal state? No, you're not. Are you the goal state? No, you're not. And I'm finished. And at this point, the algorithm stops and it says, I didn't find a goal with depth equal one. So what we now do is we increase the depth to two. So I'll use the previous tree. So we expand it to form A, B, and D. But this time, because the depth limit is two, when I look at state A, I say, ah, okay, where can I get to from A? Because I'm only at depth one here. So I can go to B, and I can go to G1. And because we're doing iterative deepening, we don't even have to check for loops. It might make it slightly more efficient if we do check for loops, but we don't have to. What I now do, because we're doing depth first search, I don't look at these yet, I'll look here and say, is that the goal state? No, it's not, but it's at the depth limit, so therefore I treat that as a dead end, I don't expand it. Now I look at this node and say, is it the goal? Oh, yes it is, excellent. So I've now found a plan which is only two steps and what you can find with iterative deepening depth first search is that it can find a, an optimal plan sometimes faster than uh, breadth first search does because it does less work. 